Yes, to land this Mr. Space. Walter Gretzky. How are you, sir? Oh, I'm fine. I'm still standing beside you. Hey, wow. Take two. Just go ahead and pinch me. Go on now. Their craft has twin 40-foot wooden schooners, the traditional kind. Hi, everybody. I'm Stephanie Beaumont. Welcome to See and Be Seen, the show that celebrates all the people, places, and things that make the four Atlantic provinces so very special. It's great to be a part of the Community One family. We've been waving the East Coast fun flag here on Bell Alliant Fiber Op TV for the past two seasons now. And we've been online where our adventure began four years ago. A staple of our website celebration has been the Cool People Profiles, in which we ask everyone from singers and songwriters to filmmakers and movie stars authors to athletes to artists to all kinds of awesome folk about their favorite East Coast things. Best place for a coffee or a pint, best places to shop, favorite view, three things we have to do when we make it to their native Atlantic province. Over the course of the next half hour, we'll share some of those favorites with you. And since the Cool People profiles were designed to give you the inside scoop on where the cool people go, well this promises to be a very cool show. After we get the name, occupation, place of birth and current location of our celebrities, we get down to the business of their provincial favorites, beginning with a beverage I love, coffee. Now where to find the best cup ranges from national chains to some awesome standout sole proprietors like actress Sarah Bell's favorite, the Bridge Street Cafe in Sackville, New Brunswick. Award-winning author Sherry Fitch loves that spot too. A whole lot of great coffee shops across the Gentle Island, but when you're in Charlottetown, Leonard's is such a big hit with so many people, including Megan Blanchard. Remember we met up with her for a latte last summer? There's a whole lot of love in Nova Scotia for two of by sea. Their original Dartmouth location is a favorite of everyone from actress Jean of Steel to musician Joel Plaskett whose studio is just around the corner to the feisty chef herself. Cape Bretner cited some little spots across the island, but when you're in Sydney, the majority noted Wentworth Perk as their favorite, conveniently located across the street from Wentworth Park. Get it? Perk and Park? Yeah. And when you're in the city of Halifax, a huge favorite is Steve Arino's. Its Brunswick location was the first. The drive through on Roby is my fave. And now you can find them at the Halifax Seaport Market. When you're in Newfoundland, there are so many spots. Coffee and Company, Have a Java, Coffee Matters were all noted as faves. But the one that comes up the most is Rocket Bakery in St. John's. Director Deanne Foley, Murdoch mystery star Georgina Riley, and so many more love it. We had a great chat with songwriter Anne. Andrew James O'Brien there last winter and you'll find that visit in our Water Street special. Yes indeed, East Coasters, we love our coffee almost as much as our tea. Hi, I'm Rita McNeil and I'm from Big Pond, Cape Breton. Now if you're ever down that way, please, won't you drop by my tea room and have a good cup of tea. That, of course, was the late, great Rita McNeil. We had the pleasure of meeting and interviewing her back at the 2010 Celtic Colors International Festival. We also recorded that artist playlist, and that's a feature we have where it's not where the person is playing, but rather where they play when they're not performing. We'll have more of those coming up in the show, and we should tell you that Rita's Tea Room in Big Pond continues to welcome folks from all around the world. In fact, award-winning Cape Breton-born musician Kim Dunn, who often played for Rita, has a wonderful concert series happening there until September. Tickets and show details for Home I'll Be can be found at RitaMcNeil.com. Hi, we're Ennis. I'm Karen. I'm Maureen. And I am the most important Ennis, anyway. just so that you know that, for Claire. Um, you have to come to Newfoundland. If you haven't already been, it is a must. It's a, it's a bucket list item. Yeah, but know? we're in Newfoundland. Would you... But you know, say is the most important spot to go. The most important spot would uh, have to be, in our opinion, in our opinion, uh, so many places. I mean, St. John's, George Street is a very popular yeah. um, place. Um, we love to go down to Beachy Cove Cafe, which is down in Pooch Cove, mm -hmm. for breakfast, uh, brunch. They have yeah, no, it's not, it's and not in, It's not in Pooch Cove. It's in Portugal Cove. Portugal Cove. Thank I don't you know more. what Beachy Cove Cafe she goes to. Uh, it's it's they got Towns there. Very nutritional. No. T uh, b bologna. 
That's what she's full of. Yes. You are what you eat. So is it. Thank you, Maureen. Um, Southern Shore, our mother is from Cape Royal, so it's, it holds a You a, have a to do spot. the Irish Loop. Irish what loop. a beautiful drive, mm -hmm. yeah. And you probably see a couple of leprechauns. I'm not kidding. Like, there's a couple of leprechauns. I've, I've seen them. Um, now, if you go, um, Bonavista is beautiful. Yeah. Uh, love Bonavista. Yeah. Um, Grossmore National Park out on the West Rocky Coast. Rocky Harbor, St. Anthony. Mm -hmm. Lansom Meadows. There's so many. I mean, the icebergs. Can you tell we're proud of our province? Yeah. But like the icebergs, you could actually go out and get some ice from those icebergs and put them in your, your drink. I'm, I wouldn't recommend that. But you could. You shouldn't. But you, you could. And, and then there's also, there's birds like puffins and whales. You could yeah. go out and pet a whale. I wouldn't do that I, I, No, I've never done it myself, <laughs> but I don't see why you couldn't. No. And um, so please come, and the music there, I mean. That's a big thing. You know, the for one, so rich, for yeah. one, like, I'm there. Like, that's a reason, you might, you might spot me walking around. How exciting. Um, come up and say hi, don't feel awkward. Just come up and say, how are you doing? I, I saw you on C and be seen, and um, thought you were wicked, so can I have your autograph? Do, feel free okay. to do that. Um, but other than that, um, just come and experience it. Experience the Labrador, yeah, yes. Newfoundland Labrador for yeah, You will not regret it. No. Yeah. Hi, I'm Maria Pano Palace. I am actually from Halifax, a Grace baby, and if you are from the Halifax area, you know exactly what that means. Uh, so, I need to tell you what my favorite places in and around the city are. There are so many that I couldn't possibly get them all in, but I will tell you that most of them have something to do with food or dancing. So, let me see. Down on the Halifax waterfront, there's a great little ice cream shop uh, called Cows, <laughs> and it's a maritime classic, originating in PEI, but you can get it in Halifax too, and it is delicious. You can't have a walk on a sunny day in Halifax without some ice cream. Also, speaking of the Halifax waterfront, stop in for a good time at the lower deck. Here's some really good, uh, authentic uh, maritime music. And if you're willing to go a little further, my favorite place, maybe my favorite place in the world, is my big brother's restaurant in Lower Sackville, Nova Scotia. It's called Tom's Family Restaurant. My brother's name is Dimitri, but he named it after our dad, who we love dearly, and who is there still helping in the kitchen, overseeing things, of course. Uh, in fact, he makes the soup fresh every day. But uh, if you go, I highly recommend the haddock filet or the chicken souvlaki or the ribs or the salmon. It just goes on and on and on. And you can say hi to my mom and dad and my big bro there too. Thanks for watching and come to Nova Scotia. You will not be disappointed. Mwah! <laughs> What are you at? Uh, my name is Andrew Dale um, of The Once. I'm from Coley's Point, Newfoundland. And if you're ever out, what we call around the bay, Conception Bay North, uh, check out a place called uh, Linda's Home Cooking. Best lemon meringue pie around. Cheers. Love Andrew and The Once, and we love pie. It's always great to get a lead on a sweet slice. You can check out our Pie Patrol for favorite places for pie in the Atlantic provinces, including publicist Wendy Phillips' favorite chocolate tofu pie from the Wooden Monkey in Halifax. Other favorite spots for sweet stuff include Freak Lunchbox, adored by Mr. D star Cassidy Matera, and TV host Jill Chapel. Nova Scotia born singer songwriter Michaela Lynn heads to Withrow Farm Market in Bel Nan for summertime ice cream, while hip hop artist Kyle Mischek hits the Cape Breton Fudge Company for his sweet fix. Now, get this NL born news anchor Kayla Hounsel says we have got to go to the New West Valley Gas Bar for caramel tarts. It involves a can of of sweet milk being boiled for three hours and yes it sounds crazy but she says your taste buds will love it now that is some inside scoop hello everybody uh, my name is Justin Martin and I'm the coordinator of 2010 from Flat Rock and if you ever want to come down there's always a time <laughs> so I'll you <I'll>, anyways <laughs> give us a tune <laughs> this one's called Katie Daly
That was Justin back in 2010 when he was the reigning accordion idol. And you better believe Mr. Martin's still playing up a storm around Newfoundland and in some favorite places for pints at that. We'll share those with you when we return. For now, enjoy Justin to break and pay close attention. He's the TV free stuff clue for this episode. We'll be right back. Hi, my name is Jonathan Torrance. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you one thing to do in each of the Atlantic provinces. Let's begin in my home province of Prince Edward Island. It sounds crazy, and I've told people before, when you're going to Charlottetown, you have to have an egg roll at the Canton Cafe. I know what you're thinking. Charlottetown, egg rolls, that doesn't make sense. Really? Jam one into your word hole and tell me otherwise. It's the best thing you'll ever eat. Second best. Number two, New Brunswick. If you're in Sussex, go to Captain Dan's. It's a fish and chips place out by Parley Beach. Maybe you're there for a concert and you want to jam things into your pink mouth, that's where to go. It's also a great place to get a drink. Three, if you're in Newfoundland, about an hour and a half to two hours outside of St. John's, there's an inn called Fisher's Loft. It's now run by my friend Luke Fisher. It's among the most beautiful places in the world. Luke used to work in television and film here in Halifax. He now lives there and runs the place. There is a three-legged dog that takes you for walks on these cookie-cutter cliffs. It's among the most heartwarming, breathtaking scenery you'll ever see in your life. Lastly, here in Nova Scotia, if you're in Lunenburg, go visit Martino Ruiz at Fleur de Sel in Lunenburg. Again, food is really how I make every decision. It's maybe the best restaurant on the face of the earth. There you go, four things to do in Atlanta, Canada. I love Jonathan Torrance, and I'm so loving all the inside scoop we're sharing with you here on this Cool People Profiles edition of CNBC. Now, before the break, we promised a look at where the cool folks go to grab a pint. And as you might imagine, the personal faves of our favorite East Coast personalities are spirited indeed. Plenty of folks on Prince Edward Island chose Hunter's Ale House as their favorite. No doubt the live music made there makes the Charlottetown spot the place to be. In New Brunswick, the Lunar Rogue had many votes among others. Really though, it was more the pints than the place that had and beers pretty particular, picking pickaroons as a hands down favorite. Hello, my name is Stuart Cameron. I'm in a band called The Heartbroken. When I come to Halifax, which is one of my favorite cities, I used to live here. I, I, I lived here for a few years and, and, and what I would do is I would come down to Argyle Street, which is right here, and I, I, was, I would always duck into the economy shoe shop and have a couple of drinks or w I would order the, the chicken skewers and stuff like that with peanut sauce on it actually. And, and it comes with a nice salad and all of that stuff. So I would have a beer there and say hi to my friends. But, um, but then I would, I would just make my way down, kind of wander down to where we are right now, the beautiful Carlton. And then I would come to the Carlton, which has an unbelievable wine selection. And I would come in here, have a nice glass of wine, hang out with Mike or Mike. And then I would order the, uh, uh, there's a beautiful 10 ounce steak here which I love which I'm about to order um, in about an hour from now I'd have a steak sandwich some more wine run into some friends and God only knows where we end up that's what I usually do when I'm in Halifax Stewart's not alone in his thinking. Dubbed the Argyle Entertainment District, there's one street that has a whole lot of favorites, including the Economy Shoe Shop, the Seahorse, and a big, big fave, the Carlton. Mike and Mike are always bringing in stellar artists to play night after night. And coming up on August 24th through the 31st, they'll again play host to the Halifax Urban Pop Festival with amazing singers and songwriters. Head to the Carlton.ca for info and tickets. The Lower Deck is a favorite of among many folks, including Alan Doyle, who told us he loves to play there when he's in town. And located just down on the south shore of Nova Scotia in Chester, you'll find the oldest rural pub. It's called The Folksal, and it's a favorite of everyone, from singer-songwriter Old Man Ludica to award-winning filmmaker Jason Buxton. Even the Haven Gang consider it their local during production. It's cool indeed. Plenty of spirited spots in the city of champions to choose from. St. John's favorites include everything from the Yellow Belly Brewery on Water Street to the Inn of Old and Kitty Vitty. The Ship Pub too because they've got great live music but you know so many went with a local favorite now world famous the Duke of Duckworth. And yes the Republic of Doyle cast and crew do head there for a real pint so you never know who you'll run into at the Duke. <laughs> 
My name is Davina Doyle, and I'm in a great band called The Heartbroken. The other guys are great. I'm just riding on their coattails. But when I, as soon as I get off the plane in St. John's, I go straight to the Sprout, and I order a bean burrito with whatever amazing salad they have that day. And then I go back to my mother's house, drop off the car, I get a cab, I go downtown, I go to the Duke. I probably get a beer, and depending on what time it is, maybe a shot of tequila. After that, I walk down the stairs, and I make a left, and then I go into the Rose and Thistle, and I hope that Ron Hines is playing there. So I can walk in, take a seat at the bar, and look around, and if anybody's talking, I warn them to be quiet, or Ron Hines will get mad at you. So I do not talk to people, I'm antisocial. If you see me at the Rose and Thistle and I'm watching Ron Hines, I will not talk to you. <laughs> I, I will not interrupt that flow that is the genius of Ron Hines. Um, I will sit there till the end of the night and then I'll probably go and see whatever is after hours because when I'm in St. John's I like to whip it up. And then the next morning when I pretend I have food poisoning but really I just stayed out way too late with my friends, I will get up and I will go to Classic Cafe probably with my dad and I will order some breakfast and we'll look at Signal Hill and then I'll go walk up Signal Hill or actually I'll probably get my dad to drop me off at the top of Signal Hill and I'll walk down the back stairs and I'll do the whole trail and then I'll turn around and I'll look up and I'll go oh my god that's the only way out of here and then I walk up the stairs and then I get to the top and then I feel incredible and then I go and I go to the Sprout and I get a bean burrito and whatever amazing salad they have and then I go drop the car off and then I go back down to the Duke and I do it all over again. That's it's a good time. <laughs> Is Daphne Doyle the greatest or what? Her St. John's to-do list gives us a great bridge to the three must-do list provided in each of the cool people profiles. As varied as the folks themselves, each of our cool East Coast folks provides a must-do list for their home province. Cooler still, it goes beyond the brochure to the out-of-the-way restaurants, the best beaches and hiking trails, to the lesser-known but oh-so-loved music festivals and more. I'm David Miles. I'm from Fredericton, New Brunswick, and I will tell you if you're ever there, what you got to do is go down to the small craft aquatic center on the St. John River, rent a canoe, hopefully with one other person, and go canoeing on the St. John River. And if you get a chance, go up the Nashwalk River a little bit and come back down. And you'll have a tremendous day. It's such a beautiful place. And it's right in the middle of the city. Great way to see the city. That's what I think you should do. Hi, my name is Lenny Gallant, and uh, if you're ever traveling to PEI, get down to Rustico, be sure to head up and uh, check out the Farmer's Bank of Rustico. It was the oldest credit union on Prince Edward Island. It's got a lot of history. It tells about the early Acadians there, and they've got the oldest house in Prince Edward Island uh, from around six, 1767 or something like that, and it was my ancestor's house. So uh, check out a bit of Acadian history in Rustico. Hello, I'm Mary Jane Lamond, and uh, I live in Inverness County in Cape Breton Island. And if you come to visit us in Cape Breton, I think you have to go to a milling frolic, which is a Gaelic song group. And uh, one I can think of is uh, at Christmas Island, and you can look up Christmas Island on the map. And in the third week of August, every year, they have a thing called a fete. It's a festival. So come and meet some Gales and sing some Gaelic songs. And while you're there, you'll be just across the water from the Highland Village Museum in Iona. So that's a, with lots of singing and uh, Gaelic and good Gaelic history there, too. Hi everybody, I'm Bette McDonald and I'm from beautiful Cape Breton Island. Let me tell you this, if you, are, if you want a night out, for, it's a big, big fun. One of the best nights of my life was in St. John's, Newfoundland on George Street. Let me just say, I can't give you too many details without going to prison, but let me just say that at 4 a.m. I was on the sidewalk arm in arm with a, like 20 people I knew 10 of them, and we were howling and singing and baying at the moon. I got to tell you, I paid for it for a couple of days, but it was so worth it. Do it, and then check yourself into the hospital. 
What a riot she is. We'll have a great chat with Bette McDonald from the Halifax TV production set of Mr. D in our next episode. And speaking of TV, NL funny fella Sean Majumder has a whole show dedicated to celebrating his hometown of Burlington, Newfoundland. The second season of Majumder Manor is in full swing on the W Network, featuring Sean, his wife Shelby, their friends, family, and all kinds of town folk working towards the goal of turning their humble village into a world-renowned cultural tourist destination. Another effort to bring folks to Burlington is The Gathering. World-class chefs and musicians feed and entertain around an open fire, all designed to celebrate what's best about culture in Newfoundland and Labrador. Sean's pal Sam Roberts headlines the three-day festival. It's set to go this year, August 22nd through 24th. Visit thegatheringburlington.com for all the details there. Another awesome part of the Cool People Profiles, getting the inside scoop on where the cool people shop. You can find tips on everything from groovy record stores to clothing boutiques, comic books to consignment, auto parts to antiques to our favorite farmers markets. There's so many wonderful ones throughout Atlantic Canada and it's the perfect way to shop local. Matter of fact, I was just at the Hubbard's Farmers Market and picked up my new favorite thing. It's a skeleton fish by area artist Jerry Walsh. You can find his wonderfully handcrafted works online too at distinctivegardenaccents.com. And since I love my fish so much, I bought one to give away to you. It's our TV Free Stuff prize for this episode and all you need to do is tell us what instrument was Flat Rock NL native Justin Martin playing earlier in the show. Once you know it, hit the website at cnbc.com, click on the TV Free Stuff button and submit your answer. Good luck to you and we'll be right back with more from the Cool People Profiles. Hey, my name is Tim Chasen. I'm from Bear River, Prince Edward Island. And if you come to PEI in the summertime, you definitely have to check out the Roller Bay Fiddle Festival, um, which is held in the third weekend of July every summer. Um, it's a great time, good tunes, good people, and uh, I hope to see you there. Great music there for Mr. Chasen and a great must do as well. Another question we ask folks in their cool people profiles, what makes their home province so special to them? When Tim submitted his cool people profile, here's how he responded. Everything about PEI is special. The people are great. It's so laid back and relaxing. The landscape is also beautiful. There isn't an area of PEI that isn't unique. One of the best things though would have to be the music. Any night of the week you can listen to talented folks doing their thing. Whether it be at a bar, a Kaylee, or a kitchen party, we like to play music and have a good time. Another award-winning fiddler from the Gentle Island, Ms. Cynthia McLeod, was one of our first profiles posted some four years ago, and we loved her answers, including this one. When I was answering these questions, especially talking about the different places I like to go, I was thinking to myself how lucky I am to be able to live in such a friendly, easygoing place. It's gorgeous here, not only in the summer, but even now as I'm looking out my window at a massive amount of snow. It was the perfect place to grow up, and even though I get antsy to get on the road touring, it's always great to get back home. Milltown NL writer, director, and producer Latonia Hardery, who by the way also has a PhD in Arctic archaeology, is currently working on the film Sadie with Emily Bridger and Deanne Foley. And when we asked her what makes her homeland so special, here's what she wrote. This is very hard to answer because I love Newfoundland and Labrador so much. One thing I've always admired about this province, however, is that no matter what's happening, people feel a real sense of joy to be living here or to be from here. We collectively have a strong sense of identity. And while it's true that our landscape is ruggedly beautiful, it's not that alone which makes our province special. I think our unique day-to-day -day reaction to this environment and to others who share it with us is also a part of the reason NL is so compelling. 
Fredericton born, Keswick Ridge raised actress Natalie Lynn Roy hangs her hat in New York City these days. Matter of fact, she spent the summer performing Shakespeare in Bryant Park. And when we asked her why New Brunswick is so special to her, here's what she wrote. First and foremost, it's the people. Kind, warm, supportive, and genuine. In all my travels, I have yet to see a community of such integrity and friendliness. New Brunswickers are hardworking, lovers of life and family, and know how to have a great time. I'm proud to be one and relish every trip home. Dartmouth-born actor Steve Lund, who plays Nick Sorrentino on the sci-fi space series Bitten, and who also played the Colorado Kid on Haven, wrote this when we asked him why Nova Scotia was so special. I'm very proud of where I come from. Nova Scotians have an undying need to preserve a sense of cultural community, and that identity makes us a strong people. No matter where I am in the world, knowing that I always have it to come back to allows me to feel a comforting and invigorating pride. As a product of the humble teachings of my homeland, I've always felt that I could do anything I wanted. The support I've received from everyone I know at home will continually fuel me to make them all proud someday. I am eternally grateful for my home and my people. All these heartwarming answers from the Cool People Profiles, we East Coasters sure do love the homeland. Now you can watch this episode and all the other great Community One programming anytime you want. Simply click the On Demand button on your Bell Alliant Fiber Op TV remote and follow the steps on your screen. And be sure to visit cnbc.com and check out all the Cool People profiles for yourself. It's the inside track on where the cool people go, so you'll be in the know beyond the brochures. Stay tuned for the season finale of CNBC. We'll catch up to comedian Steve Patterson to talk about a cool film competition in town, plus our one-on-one -on -one chat with CBC radio host and author Stephanie Domet, and as promised, we'll chat with Kate Breton-born funny lady Bette McDonald. And as an added bonus, we'll play an all-new round of Insights in 10 with PEI's own Jonathan Torrance. We've got that free stuff and so much more. That's going to do it for this show. I'm Stephanie Beaumont. We'll see you next time for CNBC seen.